what's good people i'm back again with another video just before i get into this video could i please request everyone every single person watching tuned in whatever like comment share subscribe press the bell icon all of that good stuff let's get the numbers up you know subscribers close to 3k let's go those up man let's go up 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 but yeah, enough of that. I have to always request it on every video, you know, just a quick intro. So I've got a sneaker here. Um, this was so hyped. And the way people are grabbing this shoe and reselling it and stuff. Like, don't get me wrong. It's a decent sneaker, but, you know, let me just get into it. Let's do the review properly and i'll be honest i'm going to be very honest throughout this it's not to stand out it's not to look down on anyone it's not for any of that it's literally my thoughts my review my comments whatever i think of this sneaker so as always as always as always, we've got that red Nike Sportswear box. Uh, that's way overdue to be changed. I've seen this box for a lot of, for a lot of, 10 years probably. So it needs to change now, Nike, man. Come on, change this box. It's basic box that everyone's seen a million, billion, trillion times. The important bit is actually what it says on the label. And I actually don't know what this official colorway is. Um, I just know the nickname. So that's Air Max 95 PRM, PRM meaning premium. And then it's black, white, pure platinum, size 11 USA, UK 10, centimeters 29, BR 43, Europe 45. Star code is DQ3979001. And they are made in Indonesia. This pair is known as Koi. And for those who don't know what a koi is, um, it's a fish. It's a type of fish. And that's pretty much it. So wrapped individually or separate, I should say, um, like, you know, Subway sandwiches when you get a foot long and you tell them, wrap them separately. I really don't like them being wrapped separately. And I have undone the wrapping before, so I know what they look like. There we go. But what I'll do is, I will also unwrap the other one. Just so we can have something to look at as well. There we go. Nike Air Max. 95 Koi So I do understand that these are majorly hyped Like there's resale, all that stuff I'm just going to go up straight off the bat and say Mate, if you cannot get these um, Retail And you want to pay resale Obviously I can't stop you But I personally would not As You know, some people have said This is the most amazing release of 2020 2020 2022 like they're so special they're amazing oh my god they're not that great to be honest i get why and i'll get into that like i get why they're hyped or whatever or one of the speculations i have of the hype is you know because they were released in japan first and when they release in japan first everyone thinks they're going to be a japan exclusive and then when they get their hands on them they're like oh my god i have the pair mm, it's whatever so it's got like the blue kind of icy mid sole. You know, that's decent. Looks kind of different in the picture. Looks kind of the same. Nothing special, to be honest. Um, it does have like little flaws and stuff on it, like within the color. It's whatever. I don't really care for it. Then it's got that plate as it always has. Um, this time it's kind of got those you know, Japan type patterns that they always have on these type of releases. So yeah, it's got like, you know, these Japanese inspired type of scale 
um, pattern on the bottom. I thought they looked similar to the Japan 95. I did compare them. It's not the same. Um, nice patterns, nevertheless. You know, we always like a nice pattern and it's always different just, you know, compared to the plain simple sole. And then it does have like a reddish Nike Air. The bubbles, you know, the split air. So it's got the back bubbles, reddish, pinkish. I actually like that color. It looks nice. Also, the ones at the front as well. Also, the same thing the reddish, pinkish bubbles. And um, black midsole, just a plain bog standard black midsole. And then we've got a leather. It's kind of like, I'd say, a tumbled leather. It does feel like it's a bit higher quality, a bit smoother, whatever. But here's what it is. And um, then we've got some a grey. That's just like. I don't know, woven. No, it's not. I, can't, I need to learn the names of materials. But yeah, it's got the gradient going to basically white. So I do understand why people like these. Okay, fair enough. You know, it's a decent pair, but it's just not what the hype is. And it's definitely not like £300 tags on eBay. £300 for these is kind of a joke, I'll be honest. And I hope nobody pays £300. I hate the way that, you know, when we get some good Air Maxes, the resellers jump on them straight away. I hope nobody buys from them. So, you know, we love gradient from black to basically white. So black, grey, grey, grey. And it basically goes to white. We've got the white swoosh with the black outline on the back. Then we've got like a white mesh. It's not really white. It's more platinum, um, pure platinum. So it's kind of slightly greyish. Then we've got that same material that's on the bottom layer as the toe box. Um, it does feel kind of better than standard, kind of premium, but honestly, not that big of a deal to me. And then we've got the mesh, the pure platinum mesh, pure platinum behind it as well. And then the 3M lace loops, so they are reflective. Bonus. Going on to the lace those are just you know plain black laces which i'm actually annoyed with i want you know the reflective rounded laces i prefer those this does look like 3m i hope it is it feels like 3m then we've got black mesh in the back a bit of leather again this is a different leather so this does feel like a more stiffer kind of more premium leather but come on mate you know it's different levers everywhere like what's going on it's two different levers on the shoe and then really nice you know, Air Max logo, that's the way it's stitched in, whatever. I'm really clean. I like the colorway. I really do like the colorway. I'm not knocking the colorway at all. But the way they're hyped for a shoe that's not, like, amazing. Like, wow. And I'll be honest, um, I have been to a few stores. They are sitting on shelves. So don't pay resale. They're sitting on shelves. I've seen these on shelves in many stores. Just Google Air Max 95 Koi if they have the store. I'm not going to say names of stores, but there's certain stores um, that may be found inside other stores, you know, um, reputable stores. They are sitting on shelves there. So grab them. Don't pay online. Go outside and buy them for retail if you want them for retail. Is this removable? It will come out if I don't knock over the tripod. Um, I don't want to pull it out fully, not going to lie, I can't be bothered. So it's got the quiet graphic there. And then a Nike swoosh. Um, that's kind of cool. I do get that, like it's blue representing water, whatever. But I did see there that the way it's cut, like... For a premium shoe, look at that, like, come on, man. I'm not really too happy with these. I'm not 100%. Even this tongue is actually wonky, like the way this thing is. No comment. But yeah, just the sizing, the size um, tag and the barcode, etc. It does say this product is covered by one or more patents. And just all the information there, sizing and stuff like that. So it is a nice shoe, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it's nasty, I'm not saying it's ugly. Just what's ruined these is the hype behind them. 
and I really hate that because you know I like the graphic, the little scale design, the color, the red, you know, it's nice, the gradient. You know, we always love a gradient pair. But the resellers, you lot, if you're a reseller and you're watching this video, just know I don't like you. Like it's annoying seeing the resellers suck the fun out of the sneaker game. Leave the Air Max 95s alone, man. Go to the Jordans, go to the Dunks. I'm hoping no one pays resale for these, man. They're a decent shoe. They're not my grails, no way. They're not something I'm, like, admiring that much. Like, ooh, they're so amazing. Gradient pair, red bubbles, you know. Looks good. Clean pair. It's premium version, so might be a bit better material than the others. Honestly, I'm so like annoyed at the fact that the resellers are into this and the hype behind them are oh, the best pair of 2022. I would probably say the sketch pair is better than these. Like we like the gradient and stuff, but the sketch pair is probably better than these. So the best pair so far 2022, just off the top of my head, is the sketch pair. These are still okay. They probably look way nice on foot. Nice with a good tracksuit, like a good, you know. I'll be able to rock these nicely, probably better than a lot of people. But yeah. Tell me what you think about these people, man. Tell me if you like them. Tell me if you got them. Tell me if you hate them. Tell me if you rate them. I do have to slightly apologise for the negativity. Um, it has sucked out a lot of this review. But you know, man. When you're waiting for the shoe and it's just not that special. Uh, when there's a bit of flaws and stuff, like Fred sticking out and all that stuff. Um, plus... The amount of hype around this shoe and all that extra stuff. It's annoying. And it really did take the life out of it. Um, if you have made it this far, thank you very much for watching. I'm sorry, I've just been rambling and ranting. To be honest, it's more of a rant review than anything. But we move. Let me know what you think of these. Um, I rate them, I'd say 8 out of 10. Solid 8, 8.5 out of 10. These would be way higher, or I'd say 9, 9.5 out of 10, because it's a good colorway, it's a clean colorway, but the resellers, the hype and all that stuff, the hype beasts have ruined them. Yeah, that's it for me, people. Uh, just wait a few moments for the on foot. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. And as always, take care, people.